Hi, this is Griffin with Waste On Furniture. Today we're going to be building the 8 cube organizer with a metal base. This is the white finish and this product can only be found on walmart.com. Before you start, you want to make sure that none of your panels have any damage and that you have all of your hardware. If you have any issues, you can call the number on the front of the manual and we'll get you taken care of. If everything is in order, then we can begin assembly. So for step one, we're going to need uh, two E1 panels, another two E1 panels, and your two F panels. You then need <clears throat> six of these longer wooden dowel pieces and 12 of the shorter wooden dowel pieces. So starting down here on these two E1 panels, we're going to insert two of the longer wooden dowels into one side. So there's pre-drilled holes right here, right here. And then we're going to insert two of the shorter ones on the other side. So these are shorter. So we're gonna put them here and here. So we have two short and two long. And we're gonna do the same thing on this E1 panel. Now on these other two E1 panels, we're only going to insert two of the shorter one dial pieces on one side. So here and here. Next, on this F panel, we're going to insert our four cam locks and only two of the short wooden dowels. So it doesn't matter what side, but you want to insert those wooden dowels on the two inner pre drilled holes because these are where the cam bolts will go in right here. And then <clears throat> on these cam locks, notice that there are plus and minuses. So you want to insert those into the pre drilled hole so that it's facing out towards this pre-drilled hole on the outer edge of the panel. So here, plus and minus, facing out. You want to push those cam locks all the way down. Then on these, I want the plus and minus facing towards me where there's this pre-drilled hole on the side. Lastly, on this F panel, we're going to do two long wooden dowels on one side. and then two short wooden dowels on the other. Again, making sure that you're inserting those on the inner pre-drilled holes, not these outer ones. Then do the same thing with the cam locks. Point those plus and minuses towards the outside of the panel. So for step two, grab your B1 panel a panel and two C1 panels. We need 12 cam bolts, eight of the smaller wooden dowels, and uh, four cam locks. So we're going to start with these C1 panels. We're going to insert four wooden dowels into each of these panels on the two inner pre drilled holes. So, inner, inner. Enter, enter. Next, we can put two of our cam locks into one of the C panels. So again, put those plus and minuses facing towards this pre-drilled hole on the edge of the panel. And then lastly, we're going to screw two of our cam bolts into these outer two pre-drilled holes. Now we're going to do the same thing on this other C1 panel. So two cam bolts, four wooden dowels, and two cam locks. Now on our A panel, we're going to screw in six of our cam bolts. And these are going to go on the six outer pre-drilled holes. And then on our B1 panel, we're going to screw those in to these middle two outer pre-drilled holes.
For step three, we're gonna grab our D panel, four wooden dowels, four cam bolts, and four cam locks. We can start with the cam locks. Again, have that plus and minus facing towards the outer pre-drilled hole. Now we're gonna insert two wooden dowels into each end. Be sure to put these on the inner two pre-drilled holes right here, not these outer ones. Then we're gonna screw two cam bolts onto these outer two pre-drilled holes. In step four, we're gonna have our two F panels and this D panel that we just used. I'm gonna set up this D panel so that the cam locks are facing towards me. And then I'm gonna grab the F panel that has the longer wooden dowel pieces. And I'm gonna slide those through this D panel. And I want those cam locks on this, my left side. So I have those cam locks facing towards me then I have these cam locks on this left side. Then we're going to attach our other F panel with the cam locks again facing towards the left. And now to secure, tighten down these four cam locks by turning clockwise. For step five, we're going to keep this same assembly and then have our two C1 panels. We're going to attach these C1 panels to this uh, D panel and we want to align these um, cam locks on um, this front facing side of the assembly. So here I have the cam locks on the D panel and then I have these cam locks over here. Then tighten down those four cam locks like how I just did by turning clockwise. For step six, we're gonna to wanna to grab our four E1 panels, and we're gonna place the E1 panels with only two wooden dowels on this side. Then we're gonna stick those uh, longer wooden dowel pieces through the D panel, and attach them to this other E1 panel on this other side. So grab those two longer sides, or longer wooden dowel pieces, slide them through, and secure it to this other E1 panel. Okay, for step seven, we're gonna need our A panel, our B1 panel, and four of our screw number ones. These should be labeled three on your hardware. Okay, to start, we can attach this A panel, and we're gonna to wanna to attach this onto the side where you don't see any um, cam locks right here on this center, pan center D panel. So as I can see, I don't see any cam lock holes or cam locks. So this is the side that the A panel goes on. Okay, once you have that on there, you can tighten down all of the cam locks on these uh, dividers. Okay, once you've tightened down all six of those cam locks, you can then come over here. If something falls down, it's all right. Just reattach it. Now we're gonna attach our B1 panel onto this side. Okay, and then we're going to use our four screws uh, to attach the B1 panel on these four outer pre-drilled holes. In step eight, we're gonna grab our metal frame assembly and four of these screw bolts and our four washers. So we're simply just going to put a washer through the screw bolt then slide it through here and then screw it in to this longer bar. And we wanna make sure that on the bar, 
these holes are facing up. So we want these, ho these holes on these long bars facing up and we're just going to screw those Once you get all four bolts attached to the arms, making sure that these pre-drilled holes are facing up, then you can go ahead and secure it with your Allen key. Uh, for step nine, we're going to want to attach our safety strap assembly. So that's the strap, this little screw and a washer. Stick your screw through the washer. Then we can screw that on to the top of the unit right here. Uh, be sure that you're screwing this on to this um, A panel or the top panel so there should be no holes right here um, on this panel. So this is the top so that's where the safety strap goes. And the safety strap is very important so that your unit doesn't fall over on top of somebody. So you're going to want to put this up against the wall then attach this safety strap to a wall. Lastly for step 9 we're going to attach our metal frame. So that's going to go right here on the B panel where there's all these pre-drilled holes. And we're going to secure it with eight of our screw number twos, which should be labeled four on your hardware. After you've fully secured your metal frame, you can then stand your unit up. So now we're going to use our 12 caps to cover up those cam lock holes. Your unit is now complete. Be sure to attach the safety strap to a wall to keep your unit from falling over.